Hi, welcome to lecture number 38 of the ultimate Python course. So in this course, we are going to in this lecture, we are going to see what is deep copy and what is shallow copy. So when you are copying lists, you have to be careful. So I'll explain you why. So don't write the notes, slides are in the description and please watch my video at 2x speed, I'll be generally slow. Shallow copy versus deep copy. So first let's understand what happens if you create a list and assign it to the other list. Let us say L1 is a list. Okay, one list is created at some memory ID. Now if I do L2 equal to L1, then what happens is L2 will also refer to the same object. So a list object is created at memory ID something. Now L2 equal to L1 means both L2 and L1 both are referring to the same copy. Now if you try to assign or if you try to uh, make any changes to one list that will be visible in the other list also. What I mean to say is let us say L1 equal to 10, 20, 30, 40. Now L2 equal to L1 is done. Now if I try to modify L2 of 1 equal to 200. Okay. So for example, L2 of 1 equal to 200, which means the first element is modified from 20 to 200. It was earlier to 20. Now it is modified to 200. Now if you try to print L1, you are seeing that modification in L1 also. Now if you see the ID of L1, some ID is given. And if you see the ID of L2, same ID is taken, which means same object is modified. So both of them are pointing to the same object. Now, how do you come out of it? How do you create a different object? You don't want the same object to be modified. You want to create a different object. How do you do that? So we are going to use something called as shallow copy. So in shallow copy, it creates a new object for the new list. So what are the various ways? And it will only copy the out. I will show you what. So what are the various ways to copy, uh, create a shallow copy? One is list.copy and the other one is list and the other one is slicing. So list has an inbuilt copy method. List has an inbuilt copy method to return a shallow copy. So for example, let's see this. Let us say L1 equal to some list is given. Now L2 equal to L1.copy is done. Now what happens in this case is a new list for L2 is created. L2 will be provided with a new memory address. It will be a new copy altogether. What I mean by that one is L1 is already an object at memory, memory ID something. Now when you use L1.copy then L2 will be created with a new memory address and it at a different memory location. Now changing one will not change the other. Both of them are different copies. This is called shallow copy. Okay. So, for example, in this case, L1 equal to some object is given. L2 equal to L1 dot copy is used. Now, if you print L1, so L1 is printed 10, 20, 30, 40. Now, if you print ID of L1, you can see this number. This is the memory address of the L1. Now, if I try to see for L2, the memory address is different and the object is different. If you try to change one object, it will not change the other object. We have two objects here of same list. Now, you can also use list constructor to create shallow copy. Now, if you have L1 list, you can write L2 equal to list of L1. This is going to create a shallow copy. So L1 is already there with ID something. Now you are creating a new list L2. You are creating a new list L2 by using list of L1. Then a new object will be created and that will be assigned to L2. So that is why L1 and L2 are you know pointing to different objects here. Now, if you see the address of L1 and L2, you can see that the address of L1 and L2 are different. Why? Because I have used the list constructor to create L2 from L1. Okay. From L1, L2 is created. Now, both the IDs are different. Which What does, what does it mean? It means two IDs, two objects are created. One for L1 and one for L2. You can also use slicing. Slicing also creates new list. Okay, so in case of slicing, if you write like this, 
L1 of square brackets column, it is slicing. Starting from beginning till ending, everything is taken. Now L2 equal to L1, L1 square column square brackets. Then it is going to create a new object. So L1 is already there. A new object is created and L2 is pointing to that. Let's see the program. So let us say L1 is here, a list. Now L2 equal to L1 dot slicing is used. Then if you try to print the ID of L1 and ID of L2, both are different here, which means a new object is created for L2 and the old object is with L1. Now, if you compare all the methods, all of them are going to create new objects only. So L1 is already created. It has some ID. Then when L2 is created, it has got a different ID. When L3 is created using list, it has got a different ID. And using slicing, when L4 is created, it, got, it has got a different ID. All the IDs are different, which means new objects are created. Okay. Now, changing one list will not affect the other list. For example, let us say three lists are created. One is already created L1. And from L1, I have created three lists by using copy, list and slicing. Now let us say in L2, the third item is changed to 400. In L2, the third object is changed to 400. Now you can see that in L1 or L, L3 or L4, nothing is only L2 is changed. Only L2 is changed. L1, L3 and L4 are not changed. Right. So what does that mean? All of them are different objects. All of them are different objects. Okay. Now, when, when the problem will arise in shallow copy is when we have nested iterables. Iterables means inside a list there can be a set or a string or a dictionary or a list. Right. So here I have taken only nested list, but then it can be anything. It can be a string or a set or a tuple, anything. Okay. When we have iterables, the problem is, for example, let us say L1 equal to this. So L1 is a is having a nested list. So L1 inside the L, inside the list, there is one more list is there. Okay. Now if I use L2 equal to L1 dot copy, and if I create a new copy for L2, what happens is outer objects will be copied, but inner objects only reference will be copied. So what means what what does it mean? So See this, initially one object is there, which has 10, 20 and then a list. For a list, only reference will be given there and the list will be created at a separate space. Now what will happen is, I the second L2, L2 will get a different object, will get a different object and it will get the initial outer list as it is 10 and 20 but the inner list it will not be copied the same reference will be there right so for example if you try to do this let us say l1 is equal to 10 20 and then the list is there now if i try to do like this l2 equal to l1 dot copy then l2 will be created only with the outer elements it will be created and it will be referring the same list right now if i write like that l l2 of 2 of 1 so this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 so 2 of 1 means this is 0 this is 1 so this element 200 is changed to 2000 right now it is changed using l2 now if you try to print l1 and l2 both of them will show the change because both of them are internally referring the same object when it comes to the nested listing or even if you say nested iterables okay it can be a set or a tuple or a string it will do the same okay now how do you overcome this problem you can overcome this problem using deep copy deep copy will create the nested list also separately okay so deep copy it creates a copy of the list it creates the copy of all the objects within the list so that is deep copy including any objects in the nested list for example let's see let's see this so how to how to do the deep copy is first you have to import copy module now inside the copy module there is something called as deep copy right now when you do deep copy of l1 l2 equal to copy dot deep copy of l1 then 
what will happen is two separate lists will be created even the internal list will be separate if you try to change using l2 some object some element so l2 of 2 comma 1 which means if you try to change this element l2 of 2 comma 1 to 2000 if you try to change it to 2000 okay and if you try to print both l1 and l2 if you try to print both l1 and l2 now L1 will not change, only L2 will change because here we are changing only L2. So, separate nested lists are created for both of them. Now, when to use shallow copy, when to use uh, deep copy is when you have nested iterables, you use deep copy. When you don't have nested iterables, then shallow copy is faster. So, shallow copy is generally faster, but you should be cautious when you are using nested iterables and deep copy is generally slower and it is useful when there are net state heat troubles and if you like this video if you really like this video like it if you love this video share it if you are very happy with my teaching subscribe to my channel and tell your friends to subscribe okay thank you if you want to take my gate classes we go to the website ravindrababuraula.in and you are going to see all my gate classes available there okay so coming to the classes they are all recorded why am i doing recorded why am i not doing live classes is i have thousands of students registering for my courses every year but then if i conduct a live class only 20 or 30 people will be there 20 or 30 that's it maximum is 40 i had the reason is live classes are little bit wasting your time See, you cannot watch a live class at 2x speed. You have to watch at the pace at which I teach. Generally, I will be very, very slow while teaching. So if you can go through the live classes, you can watch them at 2x speed and you can complete the syllabus very fast. 400 plus hours content is there for gate. And if you are going to watch them at normal pace, it will take 400 hours. But if you watch it at 2x speed, it will take just 200 hours right so if you want any of my gate classes gate computer science or gate da the price is just 10000 rupees it is very very reasonable for the kind of quality we provide we have test series we have doubt sessions we have videos we have lecture notes for every even you don't have to write any lecture notes i will provide you lecture notes for every subject you just have to sit back, watch the videos at 2x speed and revise the notes. Short notes will be provided, long notes will be provided, formulas will be written in a separate notes. Everything will be there provided to you. You don't have to work hard. And coming to, if you are planning to go abroad, we also have study abroad program. You can go through my number. My number is on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is in the website. If you are planning to do masters abroad, that is a very good choice. It is better than doing masters in India. So if you are planning to go abroad, we will help you out right from the, from taking the passport to getting the visa, visa, US visa, right? So we will help you out in the entire process. Okay. So do visit the website, see what is happening there. Even DSA course is there for 5,000 rupees, which is both in Python and C++. Okay. So thank you so much.